みなさん、こんにちは。おやじです。今日は新しいレストをお届けします。じゃあ、始めましょう。This is Oyaji presenting to you this new video and the brand new list. The title pretty much says all. The following series might be new for you, or at least for some of you. And for those who have the sense of discovery and want to explore new things, then this list is all what you need, at least for now. There is much more coming soon. So, without any further ado, let's kick off this list. Ja, e k i m a s h o Starting with horror science fiction genre, and the title is Terraformas. This manga is getting some real attention. Terraformas is probably one of the best ongoing manga. The first anime adaptation was back in 2014 with Anova. Two years later, the second season came out, and they took two more years to release another Ova. For the story is about a team of people that were sent up to investigate the progress of their experience. That consists of sending cockroaches and mold to the surface of Mars so that the mold would absorb the sunlight and the insane corpses would serve as a food source for the mold. Those were the expectations, and now let's move to the reality. The reality, ladies and gentlemen, is that they found giant mutated humanoid insects with incredible physical strength. The crew members are easily wiped out. But not before sending a transmission back to Earth. Now, humanity will send Elite Warriors to exterminate the mutated bugs and claim back Mars. This is great for people interested in mangas like Gantz. Incredibly gory, likable, and hateable characters, and above all, great psychological horror involved. You can feel the hopelessness of the team as they try and fight an enemy they know nothing about. Moving to Akamitsu. This manga came out shortly before Death Note. Due to some similarity between the both of these manga, it appears like Death Note was inspired from this one. The story is about a vigilante, an unknown hero who defends his own view of justice in a vigilante manner, while wearing a mask and calling himself Akamitsu. This guy is kinda immortal. He swore to cleanse Japan of evil. And destroy corrupt politics by killing politicians. For every politician he kills, he dies in return. The entire philosophy of what is good, what is evil, is something that a lot of series integrate into their plots. And so Akamatsu might seem to follow that. It takes a contemporary approach, featuring science fiction as opposed to magic. This is an incredibly mature manga. And I would suggest it to people who are into political and intellectual manga with a strong thirst toward gore and violence. I honestly would not suggest it to people who like Death Note because the concept of evil portrayed is a lot more focused and there is much more conviction to the concept of destroying evil. And now with Biomeat. This manga has that type of stories that make you addicted to it for no absolute reason. The manga takes place in Japan, wherein men by the surname of Juju develops creatures known as BM, which means bio meat, as a solution to food lack. Somehow, one of these BM managed to escape from where it was developed, resulting in mass chaos. This manga is labeled shonen, but don't let it fool you. It's not for a young audience. The manga has three arcs based in three timelines in these people's life. The manga shows the various ways people react when confronted with the doomsday scenario and how it can show the darker side of people. Boko Rano. Are you a fan of Neon Genesis Evangelion? Then just go and read this one. Don't even bother yourself with hearing my review. Go! For the rest of you, hear this out. First of all, this manga has a full season of anime, with few differences from the manga. The story is about a group of 15 middle school students who are told that they could play a game in which they piloted a giant robot and kill monsters. After an enemy mech arises from the sea, 
Cacapilia shows them how to mentally control this earth and defeats it. The children are excited by the prospect of defending the earth, but not everything as it seems. This earth is in fact powered by life energy, and at the end of every battle the pilots die. After signing their lives away, the children must now use their time left on earth to defend it. The designs are radical, and you can see that these are real kids with real external lives that are dramatically affected by what's going on with their fights for their world. I highly recommend this to people into psychological manga. Go and read it. Domo. You know Akira, right? The manga series, not the Death Note character. Well, Katsuhiro Otomo had the work before Akira, and you probably don't know about. And I'm going to tell you the story of that work. The story presents an interesting premise. A massive mysterious death surrounding an apartment building, which is manipulated by an old man with psychic powers, until a young girl with the same power challenges him. This manga was nothing short of revolutionary. I can only imagine Otomo had a vision, and suddenly knew what future manga should look like. The character designs were out of this world, and immediately copied by his rivals. Every detail in his artwork was uh, breathtaking, and a giant leap forward for the medium in general. It was Akira that made Otomo so influential. But Domo was first, and I would even call it a more satisfying read. While Akira could be blamed for having one or two chase sequences too many, Domo is short and powerful. It deserved all the credits and the awards it got. Parisia Criminals do not always receive justice. If a murderer serves several years in prison, and yet shows little change or remorse by the end of their sentence, should they be free to roam the streets and move on with their lives? Written and drawn by the deranged Jiro Matsumoto, Frisia depicts a world where these criminals can be legally executed by a group of trained killers. In an alternative Japanese society, if somebody kills your loved one, you are legally allowed to kill him or hire someone to kill the victimizer. The manga is set around a character who works for a company that specializes in these retaliatory killings and he is incredibly good at what he does. This manga is so confusing, simply because of your vantage point. You see the world through the main character's eyes and he sees illusions and hallucinations, he hears voices and interacts with things that aren't there. I suggest if you like mind-blowing, this is a high recommendation. Going to this one, Heads. Two people in one body. This is how it should be named. After John saves the little girl from a gunshot by jumping in front of her, he wakes up at the hospital and the half of his brain was destroyed. More than that, he finds himself a guinea pig of a human-to-human -human partial brain transplant. The story is about a hypothetical situation that deals with what would happen if part of a person's brain is replaced by another's brain. What makes it interesting is that the replaced part is from someone with a completely different personality. We see how it affects the protagonist and how he changes. This is one that I suggest to people that love their drama mangas with a slight twist. What follows is our main character tracing the origins of the other parts of his brain. People who love psychological dramas, I think that this should be your first read. Moving to Hideout. I'm not going to say much about this one. Hideout is a very short series. I don't imagine that I would take more than one hour or two to read it. Since it's only nine chapters, you might not be expecting a whole lot as far as depth of the plot goes. But Kakizaki actually manages to spin a fairly human, depressing story with the letter space given. Alright, all what you have to know is, man and his wife trying to overcome the death of their only son and start fresh. So they went to a vacation to an island. Things get weird when he tries to kill his wife. She escapes, he follows her to a cave, and the story begins. Enjoy! Jumping to Ikigami. Citizens between the age of 18 and 24 
are selected to die for their country. The chosen receive notification called Ikigami in which they have 24 hours to do whatever they please before they die. Ikigami is surprisingly a known title about the value of life, or maybe it's actually about how worthless life is. It depends on your perspective, but whichever way you look at it, the following is true. Ikigami shows how very real characters react when told they are going to die within 24 hours. Some seek revenge, others try to help their loved one before their time runs out. Just like if people were told their date of death in real life, the reactions of the characters depend entirely on their backgrounds. And now let's move to the top title of this list, Holy Land. Like many of you, I've been searching for a good martial arts manga for years. Hajime no Ippo was something to fill my thirst with. Along the way, it was full of moves that would get you killed in real fights. And finally found this little gem, and it's just great. Blood, violence, realism, and all the consequences that come with it. The characterization are just so realistic. The story isn't all that complex. It's more of an exploration of the characters as they clash. Not that there is anything wrong with it, but please give it a shot. So the story is about a kid who has been bullied all of his life, and now he goes to the streets and hand down gangs with his well-practiced punch. Despite his cowardly personality, he is not a confident fighter. He is constantly battling his inner demons. The concept is so simple and done so perfectly. That was my manga suggestions. If you want your suggestions to be converted to a video like this one, just let us know in the comments. Matashita!